customers. And the stats are crazy that, you know, like 1% of the people on LinkedIn are creating content. And so this is why we're doing a lot of this. We marry it with our H7 um, mentality. And, and the thing that we do in all the meetings is, is our 30 second commercial, right? And so our challenge was a lot of really easy videos and this one may be being the most straightforward. And by the by, it could be a really great thing to already have in the can coming up here in H7 pretty soon. And you should have it anyway. So um, that said, we will um, dig right in. It's pretty straightforward, but I don't want, I want to share some of this. And I want to let you guys know that we're recording this one. And I also made a separate video that is going to be available as an asset in our H7 Business Tech Corner LinkedIn group. Now, I know many of you in the, in the room here are in there. I'll share a link at the end so you can see all the videos we did in our challenge. If you want to jump in and catch up, if you just want some video ideas, et cetera, et cetera. Never a snail mail. Is, Don't use is, it either. is that where you'll post the recording of this? Uh, that might be Where's there or on YouTube. There'll certainly be a link to it. And so that, that, um, the, the how to is kind of already done, but there's always some, seems like there's some benefit in, in the dialogue, right? In the Q and a, like, but I just put a, a one directional thing and by the definition communication really isn't communication. Yes, sir. Deb, to answer that question, we're going to talk after this meeting, um, about the recordings. Um, I think what we're going to do is do no editing. Um, all of us are going to download our video and then we're going to put them on our YouTube channels respectively. So I would have Greg's on mine. He would have mine on his, uh, Sharon would have both of ours on hers and the inverse. So you'll be able to go to the YouTube channels and find the video recordings, probably not this week or next week, but the following week, that way everybody can get what they're looking for. Okay. Cause I've been looking for that one we did a couple weeks ago that I asked you to record. Is that where it'd be on your YouTube channel? For me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was, it was actually Greg. Greg, okay. And I was in your group. Yeah, let's talk about that offline, and, and we'll be making some of those, and it's really an asset, and that's what we're here to do is, is to give value and deliver. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and, and show you um, what, what these are and all about it. You guys should be seeing a um, my LinkedIn page, right? Okay, thank you. And so I'm actually in my back end here, which you can see the thumbnails. Uh, here's a, a kind of a new thing too. Um, you can put your link right at the top of your profile now. People don't have to go uh, find it somewhere in the bottom. So you might want to... Uh, See about that as a feature and you can put in like extra words like check out my youtube and have the hard link to youtube be there so this is a little extra tip today the point of today's thing is that on your profile page right you've got all your content you've got what we call a, a cover art a cover image and a profile picture now i've got a blue ring here and that's indicative that there's actually a video here that said, it's hard to see in your own. So I'm going to use Mr. Mark um, as an example here. And I'm going to show you one. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. So he's up here. I'm going to refresh the page. And then you'll see how they scroll a little preview of the video. Um, in that circle. And so I can click on it. Yeah, Mark Burrell with Rethink Revenue. And then you get to watch the whole video. And his is his is a great example. <laughs> it's got some production value. Uh, it's got some calls to action that, that frankly I'm gonna model when I redo mine. Um, I'm redoing mine, my message has changed, and I'm kind of working in my why, which is for those that weren't here before, part it's a good part of about you is why you do what you do. So 
That said, this is a good one. Discover, disrupt, and rethink the way business is done. If you want to learn more about what we do, take a look down below in the summary. You'll get a nice. Now, this is a great trick right here because you could only get three on the low end and 30 seconds on the max. So that's not a lot of dang time. So telling them to go exactly where to look to go find more details is a great idea. Nice little story about my company. As far as myself, I have over 10 years experience in the IT industry, specifically in marketing and sales, working with organizations to create record setting sales and CRM marketing automation platforms. For more on this, reach out to me, connect, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Good for you. So that's a great one. It's got a lot of production value. You can do this on your phone. In fact, you have to create you can uh, record and you have to upload from your phone. We'll dig into that. Um, you might notice the um, the format. See, I can't edit, I can't upload on here, but I could view mine. Now, mine is Lance. Well, that was my question. Where's the cowboy hat? Because <laughs> I know that was kind of my old my old branding um, back in the day. And so, what we're noticing is that so. It's kind of a, a, a portrait format, right? So Mark's came across as a square, mine's landscape, my new one's gonna be, be portrait. And so in today's world, and I'm an old video guy, like 10 years ago, I thought maybe it was gonna be big online. And in recent times, we've adapted and we're doing you know vertical portrait style videos. Uh, we got tools to add captioning to them. So that said, there's a couple examples, and this is what they're going to do. They're going to show up in this little preview. Now let's dig into how to do it. Now, I'm going right to the rule book, and you can see that it's changed. This thing, this thing's been out for. I think I shot that one last spring, but they change their rules all the time. So we teach often from the platform's rules. So. The overview is that you can have a video, um, builds your credibility, works on your personal brand. So it shows up as that muted three seconds, and then it goes back. And so they have to tap on it to watch it. And those people that know and those people that begin to know as this thing um, grows is that they might notice that blue circle, right? And so here's a big caveat. You can only record or upload from the LinkedIn mobile app. So Mark's wasn't just recorded direct. He recorded and did it um, probably on his computer, right? But then he used the app to upload it, uh, as I will too. I'll do it on my phone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use um, my auto captioning thing, and then I'll upload it from my phone. My last one, I edited on my computer, pushed it to my phone. So this is why over here, like, there's not, you know, edit or upload your video because it's a mobile only feature. It's really straightforward once you're, um, if you're on um, the phone, you can go into your profile and click the plus thing. And so you could do it straight away. Some people have absolutely nothing wrong with it. Sometimes this takes one or two or more times to do it, but uh, those of us have done a lot of video and through this year and the challenge, we have like a little better bar where we try to make sure we got something that we really like. So either way you want to do it is great. Um, progress over perfection. You can always redo it. I'm redoing mine today. So you could either do a couple things you record right there, or you can go grab it from the gallery. So if you do it on your computer, Put it so it's on your phone, so it, it's a video to push up. Are you guys following this? Are there any questions at this point in the? So we can hire you or Mark to do all the graphics for us if we videotape it. We are available to help. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, the point is like you're getting in there. You know, some people don't like how they sound. Some people don't know how they look. But you're engaging like that, building that credibility, building that. Um, interpersonal thing, people feeling like they know you before you even connect with them, right? This is just one other way. And it could oh, be super fancy. I love his edits. 
I'm probably not going to do a bunch of that. Um, I'm going to put some captions for sure, and I may do a little logo splash. Um, another big one that they call out here is very important. Um, three seconds to a maximum of 30. Now, don't make yours three or 10 seconds. <laughs> like, let's use that thing. I mean, even 30 seconds is kind of short. Um, and that's kind of our standard in the H7 world, right? And so there's probably nothing wrong with your intro that you use in H7 to be the intro that you that you share with to the world. Greg. Yes, sir, Mr. Mark. So I want to uh, tag along behind what Greg's saying. Um, it's actually really interesting that these numbers are what they are. So three seconds is important in the world of all social media. I want to connect some dots for you here. If you can start to hone your messages down to 30 seconds, it's really, really important because three seconds and 30 seconds are measurable marks within the algorithm of LinkedIn. So when somebody's scrolling through their feed and they stop for three seconds, that's an impression. Okay. So these video rules are set up to complement those impressions that the algorithm is measuring. This is a little bit confusing. If you don't understand the algorithm stuff, just trust me, it's big brother behind the scenes counting what everybody's doing on the platform. The three second mark is important and the 30 second mark is important. Those are dwell time marks. Dwell time is something we talked about previously and Greg's been touching on it here recently. Just know that this should not be frustrating because we are giving you fundamental units for all of social media when it comes to this stuff. I want to unify your understanding of Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, even Google. The algorithm runs behind the scenes. So just know that they're teaching you how to do something. You're learning exponentially here when you jump into doing stuff like this. We're trying to foster that support around what is tech for you across the board. That's it. I love it. And that is absolutely great input. And so this is, I mean, yes, Deb. What is the program where you edit your sure. video that you've been talking about? There are a whole bunch of them. There's some on the phone, like um, InShot, if you're on an iPhone. Um, I add my apps on AutoCap. I think you're an Android person. Um, if you bring it over to a computer, you got iMovie, um, Windows Movie Maker on the low end. There's some um, Adobe products like uh, Mr. Mark uses Adobe Rush. De um, De Let's no not put an obstacle. You could just get something up there. And if you want to edit it, you're absolutely free to edit it and then push it back to your phone to upload. So, uh, Greg, let me, give, let me add a caveat in there. Are, you're not an iPhone guy, are you? Are you an iPhone I'm an guy? I'm Android. Android, okay. Uh, just so you know, Apple's a huge pain in the ass. Uh, if you if you edit in the i editing tool, it actually doesn't map well to LinkedIn. So I'd avoid editing in the in the Apple tools if you can. Um, it doesn't jive well, and their their uh, file type is kind of jacked up, so it, it adds complication to it. Would Canva? Would you be able to do something like that in Canva? I think in the paid version. Oh, oh well, I'm out. <laughs> and again. It's great, like, get something up there and then know that you're going to go back and redo it. I'm going back and redoing mine. You know, your message can change. Your 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 video, uh, the quality of your video, your bar can raise. And it has over time for all of us, right? Um, but to speak to his thing, like, this 30-second thing, I'm kind of a magic window. And part of my thing when I wrote my, like, five ways why video helps your business online like eight years ago is leverage so again you're making one we're making it within the parameters that fit everything they fit reels they fit google posts they fit all of these kind of things and that's across the board um it, it's it, the 30 second thing is uh 30 second commercial is real live stuff too right you do your 30 second commercials for h7 you do your 30 second commercial when you tell people what you do if you work on this here, it polishes you up across the board. This is a really solid exercise for, for your personal growth for professional success. That's what we focus on here. It's a solid, solid um, investment. That's you. Everybody tracking this? Thumbs up. Okay. Great. Um, and so you, you could and should watch the preview. Like make sure there's no glitch, <laughs> you know, uploaded the whole thing right? Check your work. And there's another um, 
thing, you can select the visibility of it. Uh, all LinkedIn members or connections. Now, all LinkedIn members, I mean, this is your, your intro to the world, maybe before they even connect with you or follow you, right? So I would say you, wanna, you want everybody to be able to see it. And that you're personalizing um, the relationship. Now you could do a few things after it's done and after it's been up a while, um, you could go in and see how many people have looked at it, right? Um, you can edit it, you can replace it like what I'm gonna do, um, delete it. But really today is about taking this and a bunch of people that are in here probably already have one in the can. We started the year with a 30 second commercial recording. Um, this was our first video in our, in our video challenge. So if you still got that, use it, push that sucker up right now and then think about doing the next one better. I'm even in that boat. Like I didn't have captions on mine back then. Um, so can't be over 30 seconds. Um, the latest version of the app, which those are usually kept um, pretty current on the phones. Um, we don't have anybody in China <laughs> that I know of. Um, if uh, they've disabled autoplay, uh, some of that stuff, but it won't really work, but these are all kind of exceptions. Um, you, can, you can view it and delete it from the profile. Like these are my choices when I click on it, right? Um, but the, the recording and or for many of us who are gonna do some type of modification, you're gonna upload from the phone. So we go to the app for LinkedIn, and then there's a place where we upload the video from our picture. Absolutely. So um, right. you would go into view profile on your phone. It's like the top left picture when you're in the in the phone. Okay. And then you can Greg, I can show this if you want. Um, yeah, we have got we got three minutes before we get our two minutes. So yeah, this is a great, um, let's do a live demo. Give me one second and I'll get to it. Hey, Greg, did you say that the only way that uh, somebody would notice that uh, there's a video attached is because of the blue circle around it? Well, it's also gonna uh, play on mute for three seconds. So if they're looking at the top of the page, they're gonna see the video, right? So, sorry, I, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So that's so they, they, the circle is not a huge tell unless you know. You're going to know because when you go to the page, you're going to see movement at the top. You're going to see that video play. And it's kind of an attractor. Like many things, they play on mute. And when you touch them, then they come to life. Then it blows up to the screen, right? And then oh. the sound comes on. Okay, so the picture will actually be moving for three seconds. And that will yeah, allow somebody to know your static on. profile image to muted uh, first three seconds of the video and then go back. Okay, good. So give me one second, my phone's gonna die. Um, yeah, so anyway, so what he's got on his screen is is the um, the app uh, on the mobile device. And, and the spot that we're talking about is, is for your profile is identified in the top left corner under the time uh, where his picture is, right? So on the app, when you open up LinkedIn, this is what it looks like. All right, this is just my feed in the, in the um, I'm trying to get my phone charger put in here. Sorry, guys. Um, so I just opened up my LinkedIn, right? I went like this. I went to my LinkedIn app. I click on the application on your phone. Doesn't matter what phone it is. And can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. Then you click your face at the top left. Oh, wow. So the top left where your face is, and then you click your face ag again, and then your, your profile shows up, okay? You click your face again, and down there on the bottom, you see where it says, viewer edit profile video? No, that's, that's what you hit. If you didn't have one, it would say, you know, add profile video. 
you hit that and it's going to pull up the video so this is where you would do your edit viewer edit profile video and i can delete it and then it, i would add a new one if i wanted it's that simple yeah. it's just click on your face click on your face pull up the profile and then um, you can add the video by hitting it hit, hitting it again you guys tracking me there yeah close that one and i want to do a screenshot of your previous one hit this yeah if you guys can see mine it says right there if you've not done one it's got a plus mark by your profile picture and it tells you add a 30 second commercial it does and that's exactly what it has and i'll share this um uh, url for the uh, linkedin knowledge base so there's lots of ways we're going to have this video recording we're going to share uh, the thing and they've got some great documentation and then we also got some live um examples today so it's really it's pretty doggone straightforward and hopefully you guys already have um a recorded intro i know many in the room here maybe maybe not mr matthew <laughs> yet um does this sound something that, that interests you that you want to get recorded to have or absolutely gotcha matthew if you do one-to-ones with any of us that are kind of hosting um it will help you with all this stuff like, perfect help help without dollar signs too like this is part of tech corner mm -hmm. no i appreciate it very much this has been great Excellent. Thank you. We get 45 seconds till we get kicked out. So we want to do like one more round, Robin. Are there any um, remaining questions? You know, guys, I hate doing videos. So how, how am I going to do it to make it? <laughs> well, guess what? This is a great thing. I'm going to do it in 20 seconds. You don't have to be on uh, the camera, in front of the camera. Bring up just uh, make up a PowerPoint or bring up some slides, talk over them and record a video. Just because it's a video doesn't mean you have to be in front of the camera. Put that up, make it under 30 seconds. Script it with an outline. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, five, four, three, two, one. See you in the big room. <laughs> okay, and we do perfect. that as well, but that's a whole nother training. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. All right, so how'd everybody's rooms go? Sharon, how's your room? Wonderful. Any insights uh, pop out from anyone in there? Any any proactive uh, questions? Anything that was good? Yeah, I learned I don't know nearly enough about Google. Perfect. Um, anybody else have a takeaway um, from Glenn's room? Glenn, how'd your room go? Uh, we didn't we didn't do getting Google to curse aloud this week, so it wasn't quite as fun. But I do think some people are going to get fewer traffic tickets in the future. So my work is done. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to argue with Glenn. It was a blast because um, he made, um, you know, data is data, but making it visual because we're visual beings, right? So being able to analyze certain things, even if it's where not to drive, because that's where the incidences of, of uh, tickets are happening. Uh, it was it was really informative and uh, kind of a teaser because you want to know more. That is the one to one. <laughs> we we uh, we don't do the thirty second commercials in here, and we kind of don't really do the standard networking stuff because that this is where we want the one to ones happen. Um, it's better for everyone if we struggle together. That's the whole concept, right? Um, all of us who are experts in here have had questions that we've had to figure out. And the whole reason why we came up with this format is because if someone's going to ask you 10 times about something, why wouldn't we just set up a room? Because it seems commonplace that people have questions. So that's why we do it this way is, is to help everybody kind of struggle together and doing your one-to-one -one around something that you're struggling with binds you closer and it helps you grow personally for professional success. That's the whole concept here. Okay. Um, Greg, how'd your room go? Woo! Yeah, we had a blast. Um, we went through it. Uh, we answered questions. We we showed uh, how it looks on the phone because that's where you actually have to uh, record or upload. And so um, that said, 
I've got a how-to video that I did before today's session that I'll be sharing. I'm going to carve this one out and uh, make it a dedicated video also. So I think what happens is like I can just do a one-on-one a -on -one, uh, directional, but when, when the Q&A comes up, I think it helps everybody. So I'm going to make that a video too as a resource for you all. But in general, it's pretty great and it's leverage. So this 30-second thing is a great thing to have in the can because 30 second works on all the platforms. Awesome. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. I'm about to put this form. You're going to see this form pop up here with a link. Any of you guys are struggling with your 30 second commercial, Mike Davis sponsors time in H7. Okay, this is a resource for a professional speaking coach. And he, he gives you all these tips right on the H7 network website. When I put this form up, which I'm going to do right now, you guys should copy the link to that video kind of teaser thing and watch that later. Okay. What we're going to do now is go around the room and ask everybody what you took away from your room, what your business application is, and what your point of accountability will be for next week. You're going to notice that those same things are on this form. So type it out. And then tell us what it was, because we want you to verbalize this stuff so it sinks in. Uh, I'm going to start with David. Um, I know that you were in Greg's room at first, and I know that you're kind of a pro when it comes to the LinkedIn and 30 second commercial stuff. So tell us about what you learned in the other room you went to, David. Uh, just like Diana, I, I realized I don't know anything about Google. So um, I'm going to track down some of the videos that she has so um, on how to market um yourself and your business and one thing that then i kind of sussed out at the end is this is localized and national so it's very interesting so um learn i don't know much learn that you know she has some resources i can take a look at so i am going to pursue that perfect okay um diana what'd you learn uh, I definitely learned that I have a lot to learn. I'm going, I've signed up for Sharon's class on the 19th so that I can learn more. Getting into specifics, I'd be sitting here listing for far more than the 30 seconds I'm allotted. So I'm just going to say I learned a lot. Perfect. All right. Ian? Um, I'm not muted. Beautiful. Um, any, so the Google search, you can find the numbers, like how many times it's been searched in whatever term you're using. Uh, as well as using the Q&A when you do that for whatever term you're looking for to create my own FAQ or and or content. Excellent. Um, Shirley. Uh, you know me in my video, so I guess I'm going to have to really crack down and just, oh, God, I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just get it done. That's all there is to it. Just get it done. That's all you got to do. Shift into that mentality and make it happen. That's the big I'm thing. I'm with you there, Shirley. I'm with you. I feel you. <laughs> all right. Well, is that your point of accountability? Do your do my effing 30 second video. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> all right. yeah. Grudgingly. Send That's all. Awesome. I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> uh, Susan? Uh, yeah, I think um, with some of the visual uh, Excel work, that um, he shared that I think I can uh, uh, deepen some of the analysis work that I do with clients. So kind of finding um, the right ways to incorporate that in my coaching, I think will really help my clients a lot. Okay, perfect, I like it. Bill Willis, you are muted, sir. Sorry about that. I forget you always mute me coming back. Um, yeah, I learned that I really need to add a video to uh, for my 30 second commercial to LinkedIn. And uh, I need to record my video so I can review it and update it and change it as needed. Okay, perfect. And my application will be to try and get this done before our meeting next Thursday. Awesome. That's great. Deb? I am struggling to be technos, so I'm going to, I have done my video, I have posted it in Tech Corner, but I will put it up on uh, LinkedIn. It, it's, so that's my, my goal is to post that, figure out how to do that. 
All right, excellent. Matthew? Yeah, so I didn't even realize that LinkedIn uh, had a profile video option. So yes. that was uh, awesome to learn. I suck at LinkedIn. So <laughs> I know it's important. So that was that was very informative and really appreciate it. So uh, my goal moving forward would be to uh, work on that video. And then um, I've uh, set up a couple of one-to-ones with some people here as well. So looking forward to that. Awesome. Perfect. Diana Hoffman. Um the value of the three seconds and the 30 seconds on all the social media things and um, work on my 30 second commercial. And I may get my grandkids to help me figure out how to do captions and stuff. So there you go. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Justin. Don't forget you're muted, homie. Um, <clears throat> I learned a lot about mapping and how to take an address to a map because I've always done um, an address to geo coordinates to a map for my stuff. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit to this. Uh, this is in conjunction with the 30 second commercial stuff. Uh, this We got about 10 minutes left and I really want to talk about this because H7 is moving to this model. Um, behind the scenes, this is stuff that's going to come out probably at the last half of the year. Um, you guys see on the screen, uh, champion member training. Okay. The way that we've talked about this in the past has been COI. Okay. Center of influence. Does everybody understand what that term means? Center of influence. Anybody not understand what that term means? Okay. So in the past and other networking groups, there's been a center of influence as a vocab term. Okay, those are the people you associate with. Clayton takes it a step further and I'm putting this up here and I'm putting it in the chat because it's gonna be kind of important that you guys start to understand this concept. I was having a conversation with Clayton uh, about um, a member in H7, um, Ted Fireman. Um, if you guys don't know Ted, he's a FranNet guy. He's a, a franchise professor. Like he can teach you a lot about how to franchise. If you guys are interested in that, he's a great guy too. Uh, he hosts a room in Fuel, fundamental understanding, fundamental understanding on every level is what it is. That's what Fuel stands for, fundamental understanding on every level. The concept here is when you have champions, they're going to bring you referrals, Okay. David and I are really, really good about this. I know exactly what David does. I know why David does what David does. And I know how David does what David does. He does not want me to send him people that are transactional networkers. If, if I was to send him someone like an FA that's going to pitch him on, you know, investing his money, he would probably shut me down totally and close me completely out of his network, right? If I just kept sending him garbage people, all right? The idea is that David gets better people from me because I'm a champion for him. I fully understand exactly what he does for the tech people in the world. I know Sharon runs into this. Um, I know Glenn runs into this. I know Greg runs into this. I definitely run into this. It's like, I know you do stuff, but what the hell is it? Like, I really don't understand how you even earn money. What we try to do is get our champions to understand exactly what we do and then get that value proposition to them so they can recognize what we're looking for in the marketplace. I reference these as strategic partners. That's the same as champions. That's the same as COIs, all right? It's really, really important that you go into networking with this mindset. Clayton calls this selling through the room, not to the room, okay? So don't waste your time treating H7 as a marketplace. I know Susan really gets annoyed with this. Um, she's here to grow, right? I'm here to grow personally. Professionally, I reach success levels by determining who my champions are and kind of locking arms with them so we're all in a circle together moving in, unif in a unified fashion, okay? So this champion training starts to help you understand how to encapsulate that concept. It shows you how to move away from the assholes that are in H7 that are trying to pitch us constantly and brings us to finding our tribe, locating those people that are really, really good for us, Okay. Um, Ian, you were raising your hand. Did you have something? I just noticed it. Sorry, man. You're muted. Sorry. I hate that. That damn button is hidden so much from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, I have a technical question and it's for myself and I just, cause I need to know something and it's kind of, well, yeah, that's all. 
Okay. All right. Is, who's it? Who's it in reference to? I don't know. Whoever can help me with a computer and a hard drive that I've cloned and it's not giving its full capacity of Greg, Greg can help me. Awesome. Greg can help you. One to one that one. Perfect. Yep. Thanks. All right. Excellent. Justin. You're muted. Don't forget. There was a lady from Zeke the Geek that Who's came to me. Zeke the Geek. I don't know that. I, I'm not sure. Does her anybody know her that? Name is, her name is Sarah Kimberlin. Okay. They so may you be can, able to help you. If, if you want to go to the uh, LinkedIn or the H7 directory to find that, you would go um, right here to members and then member directory. So you can find her. How do you spell her last name? Kimber. L-I-N. You can put up Zeke the Geek too and it would come up. You can type in Zeke and it'll come up. They're right is there. That... That's so this her. Is her. Okay. If you guys don't know this exists, it's something I cover in uh, Fuel. I do connect training there. This is a really good resource. So make sure you try to use this. It'll better you and the H7 network. So I want to go back to this, tr this champions training concept, okay? The, if, if, if you don't do this, you will leave H7. I promise you, you're going to ask questions about why am I at this fucking meeting still? Why do I keep coming to this meeting? And it's infuriating. I can't say the word. It's, it, it is really, really bad. You don't get an ROI. You end up like muddling through and finding a bunch of garbage people that aren't going to help you do much. If you identify who your champions are, it changes your entire experience inside of business networking as a whole. And it focuses you inside the H7 network. Okay, so understanding this with your 30 second commercial is really important. I'm going to wrap this all the way around. The concept of your 30 second commercial should help your champions gravitate towards you. Oh, you do that? I didn't know that. I, can I talk to you more about that is what you're looking for. And here's a little hint. Leave the how you do what you do out of your 30 second commercial. Talk about the why and the what. Do not talk about the how. When somebody engages with you, they should be asking you, I understand that you do that. How is it that you do that? That's where your explanation starts to come in on your one-to-ones. Clayton does not cover that in his champions training, but that is a huge hint on how to optimize your network. If you take this out to your profile descriptions, do not do ad copy on how you do stuff on your front page items. Talk about what and why. Okay, The why we talked about last week is really hard to do. If you can't project your passion, it's going to be difficult for, for people to gravitate towards you. So figure that out. Study it. Look up. How do I explain why I do what I do? Google it. Be a good Googler. It'll help you, right, Sharon? <laughs> yes. Okay. So can I, can I offer something to help with that, Mark? Sure. Sometimes it's, it, you get so tied into what you do, you can't think about how to articulate it in a way that others will relate. And the best thing to do if you're unsure is to ask your client, your best clients, what do I, what is it that you think I do? Why, why did you come to me? And what did you achieve as a result of working with me? That, those terms, those words, the trigger of the pain and the result, that's what you want to focus on because that's what people can relate to. I love that, Susan, because I tell people all that all the time. I'm like, what, what do you solve for your clients? That's how you got to figure out how you answer your Q&A, how you talk about your business. Right. You use their words because that's what others like them will relate to. Start with your best clients, get them to articulate it, and you've got it. Yeah. And it's coming at it from benefits instead of features. Like, what are they going to get exactly? Yep. Results. Results. What was, this, what was the second question you asked, Susan? Why do you come to me? And... Yeah. The first one was, what, what was your pain that or your struggle that led you to me? And the, and the other part is, what was the, what's the result of working with me? What was the impact that working with me gave you? So it's trigger of the pain and the results. Everything else, Nobody else can understand, learn. They don't have time to, to you, to Mark's point. Don't focus on the process, the how you do it. It's why do people come to you? They have these pain points, these struggles, and then how, what the result is that they have. It's all about them. It's not about you. I appreciate that, Susan. That's a great point. Um, Thanks, yes. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Um, there's a unified effort internally at H7 to be better. 
okay? To be a network above all other networks and anything that you learn from this network, you can take to other areas. If you gravitate back to BNI for whatever reason, I don't know why you would, but if you do, <laughs> if you do, you can take everything that you're learning from Champions Training and Fuel and Tech Corner out to other areas of your business. You can take it to your marketing. You can take it to your sales processes. You can take it to your strategic network, uh, targeting, all of that stuff. So the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with and we'll get out of here is if you haven't been to Fuel, there is 20-minute sessions for a total of 45 minutes. You can go to two sessions at Fuel. It's connect, a little bit of how to do that. The virtual meeting link is key. I host that room. I'm giving you a heads up there. There's serve, there's ask, and then there's leadership opportunities. The leadership opportunity piece is really, really valuable here. Start to think about how you can have an audience instead of being in an audience. Host a meeting yourself. People gravitate towards you. If you're in a niche market and you want to teach other people how to optimize their processes that are alongside you, like tech people, right? I got Greg and Sharon and Glenn on purpose. They're my champions. In the end, they're all going to know what I do and they're going to take that information elsewhere. So come to these little you know, snippet meetings. These aren't permanent meetings. These are ones you can do consecutive weeks in a row and you can add it into the mix of who you're meeting and why you're meeting them. Many of the leaders that are in H7 attend these meetings. So keep that in mind. Does anybody have anything to end on? No? All right. Well, where are these, what, what can we find? Is, are these links on the virtual calendar or are you going to share it in the chat? Or They're already in the chat. I already put yep. them in the chat. The last that, two, add event, that add event link, David, is the one too that Mark just posted a couple minutes ago is the one for champion training. There should be two in there. I have one for... Um, oh, yeah, it's up further. Yeah, it's up a little further. So both of them are in there. You can find those on the H7 Network front page. They're right here. So if you just type in h7network.com, both of these trainings are right here. Okay. Is it, so okay, we'll leave perfect. it at that. We should be right at 12.01 right now. I appreciate you guys coming. If you need something from us, feel free to reach out. I appreciate it. Good fortune.